ready for something epic. Let's lose ourselves in the heart of Ireland County Terry. We've got the Love Ireland newsletter as our guide, and believe me, it's packed with inspiration. It really captures the essence of Ireland, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And it's got us itching to book a trip, especially with the Gap of Dunlow. You've got these imposing mountains, right? The McGillicuddy's Reeks, the Purple Mountain Group, and this incredible pass cutting right through them. It's not just cutting through. It's like it's been carved out over millennia. We're talking serious geological history here. Yeah. Imagine glaciers. Massive ice flows slowly shaping the landscape. Wow, so it's like a time capsule of natural forces at work. Exactly, and the last ice age, you know, that ended about 12,000 years ago. These glaciers were at it long before then. Incredible. And to think, the newsletter mentions it's a highlight of the Ring of Kerry scenic route, definitely adding that to my bucket list. Smart move. And it makes sense that the Love Ireland Facebook group chose County Kerry as a top spot. But Kerry's got more up its sleeve than just the Gap of Dunlow. Have you heard of the Dingle Peninsula? It's the epitome of Ireland's wild western coast. Okay, I'm picturing rugged cliffs, maybe some dramatic waves. What else makes it so special? It's a blend of so many things. You've got that dramatic coastline shaped by the Atlantic, but also mountains that seem to rise right out of the sea. It's breathtaking. And nestled in those valleys along the coast are villages where people still speak Irish as their first language. You're painting a picture. So it's not just the scenery, but a chance to experience authentic Irish culture up close. That's it. One minute you're hiking a mountain trail, the next you're enjoying traditional music in a local pub. And don't even get me started on the seafood. Freshest you'll ever taste. It's that mix of natural beauty, cultural immersion, and, let's be real, amazing food that makes the Dingle Peninsula so captivating. You've definitely convinced me to add Dingle Peninsula to the list. That combination of nature and culture sounds incredible, but as tempting as it is to just stay in County Kerry, this newsletter has so much more to explore. You said it. It really shows just how much variety Ireland has to offer. For example, did you know that recently people all over Ireland got to see something pretty rare, the Northern Lights? Wait, are you serious? You can see the Northern Lights in Ireland. I always thought you had to be way further north for that. Yeah, that's a pretty common misconception. Yeah. It's more common further north, of course. The Aurora Borealis, yeah. you know, that's what it's called scientifically. But it can show up further south every now and then when there's a lot of solar activity. That's wild. I bet seeing those lights dancing across the sky in Ireland was unforgettable. So from natural wonders to something completely different, the newsletter also mentioned that Galway is becoming a bit of a foodie paradise. Oh yeah, it's really making a name for itself lately. The newsletter highlighted how Raymond Kua, that famous food critic, well, he visited Galway recently and he was really impressed by the food. He even put six Galway restaurants on his list of the world's best. Six, wow, that's impressive. What is it about Galway's food scene that's so special? Well, he talked about how diverse the ingredients are and how high quality they are. Apparently a lot of his locally sourced too. Yeah. He especially loved how chefs are combining traditional Irish food with modern cooking styles. And it's not just about the food itself. It's the whole experience, the atmosphere, the service, that classic Irish hospitality. Okay, now I'm getting hungry. We've covered some serious ground today, from glaciers to the Northern Lights to delicious food in Galway. But we're not quite done, are we? The Love Ireland newsletter had one more stop for us, County Meath. So tell me what's so special about County Meath. Ah, County Meath. It has a really rich history. People call it the Royal County because of all the historical and archaeological treasures there, like the Hill of Tara, for example. The Hill of Tara. It sounds familiar, but I can't quite place it. Just imagine a place steeped in myths and legends. The Hill of Tara was once the seat of the High Kings of Ireland. That's how ancient it is. It's a place where history and ethology are all tangled up. It connects you to Ireland's past. That's incredible. It's amazing to think about all the people drawn to that place over the centuries. The newsletter also mentioned Newgrange. Is that in County Meath too? Newgrange is something else. It's prehistoric, a huge passage tomb older than the pyramids in Egypt. It even predates Stonehenge. It's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Older than the pyramids? Wow. I had no idea something that old was in Ireland. What's the story behind it? Well, we don't know everything about where it came from, which makes it even more mysterious. Yeah. But we know it was built incredibly precisely. On the winter solstice every year, the rising sun lines up perfectly with the entrance stone and shines right into the inner chamber. You're kidding. That gives me chills just thinking about it. It sounds almost spiritual. 
And the newsletter mentioned that County Meath also has areas called Gaeltex, where people still speak Irish in their everyday lives. That's right. So you've got this fascinating combination of ancient history and living culture. You can explore Neolithic tombs and then grab a pint at a local pub and hear people speaking Irish around you. County Meath really shows you how strong Irish heritage is. It's one thing to read about all these places, you know, mm. but hearing you talk about them, the history, the culture, it just hits different. This Love Ireland newsletter has given us so much to think about. It really has. Hmm. We started with County Kerry and that incredible gap of Dunlow. Talk about the power of nature. And then there's the Dingle Peninsula. Uh, rugged beauty and real Irish culture all in one place. And the fact that it won that poll just proves it. County Kerry deserves to be a top Irish destination. But we didn't stop there. We covered the Northern Lights. Can you believe that? Then it was on to the amazing food scene in Galway. From the natural world to incredible food. Ireland really has it all. And finally, we went way back in time to County Meath, home to the Hill of Tara and Newgrange, which is even older than the pyramids. Talk about a blast from the past. So we've covered a lot. Glaciers, prehistoric monuments, it's amazing. This deep dive has shown us so many sides of Ireland. But as we wrap things up, I'm wondering what connects it all. What's the common thread running through all these different experiences? That's a great question. And I think the answer is the spirit of Ireland itself. It's how connected the land, the history, and the people are. It's that sense of wonder you get standing in an ancient tomb or looking up at the northern lights. It's the warmth of the welcome you get in a pub and the echoes of old stories still being told. It's like feeling connected to something bigger than yourself. Exactly. It's about more than just checking things off a list. It's about experiencing a place that has a real soul, a story that goes back thousands of years. And you can only really get that by immersing yourself in the culture, talking to the locals, and creating your own Irish story. I love that. So as we finish this deep dive, we'll leave you with this. Let the Love Ireland newsletter be your starting point. Use it to spark your curiosity. Let it inspire you to find your own connection with Ireland. Because Ireland isn't just a place you visit. It stays with you long after you've said goodbye.